Hello, I'm Nathan Juju. I'm here with Aston Villa reporter Matt Mayer. Matt, we've just heard from Steve Bruce. Huge game tomorrow evening. Aston Villa against Wolves. And he's in pretty confident mood. Yeah, he's, well, I mean, he's always, you know, kind of very relaxed at these uh, at, the, at these Friday press conferences. I think he enjoys kind of the this side of the game, mm. the kind of the media interaction, and and you know, he, he's been saying for a few weeks now, you know, that with the run in, not just particularly this Wolves game, but but Villa have got to enjoy it. Yeah, you know, it's the reason they're they're in the game. It's what this season has been geared towards. You know to get into this position now where with 11 games to go they have a shot mm -hmm. at automatic promotion they're obviously behind Cardiff at the moment you know, 10 points behind Wolves but you know this is he's very much determined to you know to, to enjoy it and make the most of it and, and really it's a game as he said doesn't really need any extra billing you know no. um, Wolves the, the, the leaders you know I think everyone would agree they've been the best team in the division to this point in the season um, you know but Villa and a, a team who you know have, have steadily improved have hit their best form over the last mm -hmm. two months you know they, they it's they're gonna they, they want to crack at Wolves and it's start of a big week for them he said huge week for you know for, for, for Villa I mean they're all kind of you know, they're all big but you know these three games 11 games left they play three over the course of seven days obviously this Wolves game you know kind of we I mean managers it's a cliche old cliche isn't it you only focus on the next game the next game is Wolves and that's yeah. the one that's grasping everyone's mm -hmm. attention but the games after a QPR and away at Bolton you know no pushovers won't be easy either but but I mean these are the weeks you know the the, the midweek fixtures you know so many of them in the championship it's really these are the weeks that make or break, make or break the campaign sure I mean mostly uh, this season Villa have had very good weeks you know when they play this you know kind of uh, three game weeks they've been mm -hmm. able to pick up seven points occasionally they've won all you know three games and and, and you know it, it, it's a chance for you know that four point deficit to Cardiff if they yeah. have a very good week mm -hmm. it could soon be soon be wiped out alternatively if they had a bad if they have a bad week I mean are, we've got the international break next there's yeah. eight games to go after that wasn't know, a big they, fan of that was he Steve <laughs> no he didn't mention I don't think he's I, you know I, I think we'll get on to that in a second yeah. but, but I think you know with eight games to go if Villa were to lose more ground on Cardiff yeah then you know if, if they say I was seven or eight points behind by the mm -hmm. by the by the by Saturday week then then you know that that's a that's a big gap to overhaul in in, in just in just eight games he, he said it's between two of two of four teams he said for those two automatic promotion he put Cardiff in there and Fulham as well realistically do you think that they, they need to beat Wolves on, on Saturday for them to have a chance at top spot at least at top spot yeah yes mm -hmm. I, I, I would go that far because well 10 points with with 10 games to go yeah I, I, and it's looking at some of the fixtures Wolves have got Look, there's no easy games here and, and, mm. and people can get drawn into looking at you know, playing teams on the Reddings bottom of the table yeah, those aren't really the teams I think you want to be playing sure. at this stage of the season I think you know in a few weeks you'll, you'll start to have teams who, who suddenly have nothing left to play for mm -hmm. those are the teams you want to play yeah. but yeah 10, 10 points in over 10 games would be, would be too big a deficit it might be too big a deficit any, you know I think in all likelihood you know Wolves are, are, are too far off in front mm -hmm. of Villa anyway I, mm. I don't think Villa need to win the game Yeah. Uh, you know it, well, this certainly won't be decisive but if they were to win it, it's that kind of win that could really propel them on sure. you know to you know particularly the next week you know you're looking at QPR coming at home on, on, the, the confidence they would get from a win tomorrow mm -hmm. night QPR at home on Tuesday yeah. night struggling out of sorts very poor away from home you, you'd, you'd almost see them roll into that fixture mm -hmm. and, and, and you know just just carry it on yeah. and, and then Bolton at the end of the week which which I think is, is going to be you know a lot of people will, 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 well, not, you know, will look that they, they are a, they're a tough side mm -hmm. uh, you know don't concede uh, don't concede too many so so yeah it's a, but, but but for Villa if they were to win this game the, yeah. you know, the kind of the confidence that mm. you know I mean Wolves are you know Wolves have been there to be to be shot at. Mm -hmm. Plenty of um, plenty of talk about FFP this week, as as you are well aware. Yeah. Um, Steve Bruce talked about, about him and, and having to, to cut his cloth accordingly. Yeah, I mean the um, yeah, I mean FFP has been a kind of a, 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 a big issue for Villa for, for for quite you know for quite some time now. It's been a you know a regular talking point of these kind of, of these press conferences, and, and and what's gone on this week really you know. I think it's probably just added a bit more spice to the 
to, to the fixture certainly with some of the the off-field mm-hmm. uh, intrigue you know from Villa's point of view you know they, uh, certainly since Steve Bruce came in really they've, they've had to kind of cut their cloth um, accordingly you know they, they did bring in quite a few players in his first transfer window but they also got rid of quite a few and then really you know they, they didn't spend any, they've not spent barely any money um, it's certainly on transfer fees mm. um, you know the last two windows obviously bought John Terry in but and he's, know, he's, he's I'm sure he's on decent wages on decent wages but you know kind of a free transfer as well so not kind of it's it, it's not been not been a big spend and I, and I suppose that from Villa's point of view we've, you know it's kind of I think the frustrations that perhaps are bordering what we've seen this this week are, you know kind of question marks of how Wolves have been able to kind of finance some of the deals they have uh, while mm-hmm. remaining within those uh, parameters yeah but I mean that's really an issue that can't be decided. And he's more—he's more interested about the game. Isn't yeah, he? Let's be honest. He's, he he said, you know, uh, let, "Let other people deal with that." He, he's more in, interested in the game, and maybe a little bit of the focus has been taken off the game with, with, with a lot of this stuff. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. You know, I think you know what, what we're going to see tomorrow. Hopefully, mm. um, you know, he's a game between you know, two of the two of the best teams in the division. Mm. Is what they are. Mm. Um, you know, I think Wolves are uh, you know have, have been far and away the the best team so far but Villa are, Villa are really over the last two months have found their rhythm mm. you know I just hope you know as you know, we kind of we have to get involved in the financial side of it as, as football journalists these days yep. and I do sometimes wonder whether the best qualification for a football journalist moving forward will be a business degree mm-hmm. because you know the, the, the money in the game now you need to be able to read a balance sheet yeah. but I just hope that tomorrow both teams turn up mm-hmm. And that it's a that it's a fantastic spectacle. Something he also said in there, which which I think Ring is true, is that it's it's a great game for kind of the West Midlands. Absolutely. And and to, you know both of the, it's a game in the Championship, admittedly, but we think that Wolves are going up. I could be pretty really confident. Game, yeah. And hopefully mm. Villa will Villa will follow. And and really this region has, as and you know I've written comments about this uh, uh, has missed out for a for a long time mm-hmm. you know if Wolves get in the Premier League with, with you know kind of what they've done in the Championship the ambition they've got could be very exciting Tony Jar here has, has made no secret you know yeah. what he wants to do with yeah, Villa yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean if they can get into the Premier League it's, it's a huge uh, it's a huge opportunity mm-hmm. for them um, you know Albion probably doomed. you know perhaps doomed but you know fingers crossed they can get out of it but but you know it, it's, it's, it's a hopefully the, the game you know, lives up to the mm. to the hype. I mean, so often they don't. Mm. I mean, I think in October, you know, we were quite excited about the game, but but really it was it was very one sided. Yeah. And and I think that's you know that they won't Villa won't say, but I think that probably is a motivating factor. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, the fact that they really didn't do themselves just as I think Wolves were, were Wolves were very good. Yeah. on the night. And, we'll, and but, Villa, but, were but Villa were you know Villa were yeah disappointing mm. for a t- for a, uh, a squad that's been assembled for the for the money they have yeah. some of the players they've got. Mm-hmm. They needed to do a better showing. Tomorrow is their chance to perhaps put that put that right. Well, tomorrow is their chance. What what are you what are you expecting formation wise and how they will line up? There's a, there's a few selection dilemmas that, that Steve's got to a work out. A few selection dilemmas. I think. Well, you know, he went two up front at Molyneux and it didn't work. And he won't do that again tomorrow. Though they have been playing two up front right. uh, recently, but they you can get away with that at Sunderland. Villa, Villa's best. The big team news is that Jack, Jack Grealish, he's, he's pretty much heavily hinted that Jack Grealish is going to start. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's huge for Villa because he is the glue that holds their attacking unit together. It gives their team balance, you know, in the, in the middle where you've got uh, Snodgrass on the, on the right, Adoma on the left. And that's why Villa have been so, have been so strong over the early part of the year because mm-hmm. they've got that balance in the team. Um, and they've been missing that the last few weeks without Grealish and Adoma. Yeah. And, and Grealish is the one player, you know, who, could, who, who, who can, you know, he's, he can really be the talisman for Villa. Mm. He, he takes their team, for me anyway, he takes their team up to the next level. Mm-hmm. I think they're a very good side, and they've done very well this season, mm. even without Grealish. They've mm. done enough to stay in contention, mm. but with him in the team, then they, they you know, there aren't many mm. better than them in the division. Wolves are probably the obvious one. It'd be fascinating finding out tomorrow mm. how Grealish goes up against uh, Neves. Mm. They'll probably caught, you know, be playing in a similar area of the, of the pitch. And 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 you Should know, one, yeah. well, I think we, you know, mm. I've seen enough of Wolves that I think, you know, agree with the people that think Neves is probably, you know, they've got some fantastic players. But above all else, he's probably the man that makes them tick. Yeah. For me, he's Player of the Year mm-hmm. in the Championship. Mm-hmm. Grealish, Grealish's form over the first two months of, of 2018 was 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 up there, mm-hmm. you know, and as as one of the best, you know, for me, 
look at one of the best five players in the in the division, Kearney, yeah. Hosser at Wolves, yeah. people like that. Mm. If he can, you know, it's his first start for for a month tomorrow. If he if he's quickly up to speed, you know, Villa have got a great chance. We expect, you know, Lewis Graben to start up front. At the, expense of bit, Scott bit, Scott Hogan. at the expense of Scott Hogan, simply because I mean Graven's in better form. Mm -hmm. He scored three and three. Hogan's gone a month now without a goal. It's not a straightforward decision for me because I think Hogan plays quite well with Grealish mm. in the team, mm. and he's missed Grealish. Mm. But uh, but for me, I think Graven is your man in form. He's probably mm. going to start, and then it's a, whoever's plays deepest in midfield. Mm. Glenn Whelan injured, that's mm. a blow to Villa. I know, I mean, Steve Bruce has said it again in there, not everybody's cup of tea. And he's never going to be a fan favourite, Glenn Whelan, but I think he's been a very important player for Villa this season. And I think he's he's, a, he's much better than a lot of fans, certainly the ones that tweet me anyway, will give him credit for. I think he was playing very, he's played very well the last two games, mm -hmm. Sheffield Wednesday and at Sunderland. So he's a, he's a bit of a miss, I think he would have played. Really, yeah, don't know, probably favourites to come in over Burke and Bjarnason. But again, that's not a, a straightforward call because Bjarnason played that deep line midfield role very well mm. um, this season. Looking forward to it? I am, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm always a bit kind of sceptical of these games because well, there is so much hype and there's been so much added to this one. There are so many storylines that, that often the game itself can, can, a, bit can be a bit of a letdown. But but I, I really you know I, I really do think you know Villa will, will, will go at Wolves tomorrow, mm. and uh, and and that that could be you know that that might be the you know the best thing for them mm. uh, depending you know but but I think it will be uh, I, I I just hope it's a it's a better game a better game a better contest than better the contest, yeah. we saw at Molyneux I mean you know Wolves played some great football that night but you know as neutrals we didn't really see mm. the. Uh, no, I yeah, understand. As neutrals as we are, uh, yeah, yes, absolutely, fan, you know, absolutely. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, as yeah. neutrals, we didn't really see, you know, yeah. the, the, get the contest we wanted. So I just hope we get that uh, tomorrow night. Aston Villa against Wolves, 5:30 kickoff at Villa Park. Myself, Matt, and Tim Spears will all be there for all the build-up on this one. Make sure you log on to ExpressInStar.com.